Hi everyone, it's a pleasure to welcome you today. Day by day, the novel coronavirus, also known as COVID-19, is spreading rapidly. Here are eight important actions to take when you think your family member starts showing symptoms of the disease. Number one, it is important to keep distance between the patient and others as much as possible. Keep the room used by the patient and other people in the household separate as much as possible. The patient should stay in a well-ventilated room with windows. It is important that the patient should remain in the designated room as much as possible with less contact with other people in the household. Even if separating rooms is not possible, keep an infected person at least two meters or more away from others and place partitions or curtains to reduce the chance of infection. Patients should limit use of shared spaces such as the toilet and bathroom, used by other family members. Make sure those rooms are well ventilated. Ideally, keep enough distance from the patient during meals and sleep. If you are sleeping in the same room, you can keep a distance from the patient by simply placing your head at the opposite side of the patient's. Number two, designate one or two people to take care of the patient. If the patient requires daily care, allow only one or two people to do so as there is a possibility of the virus spreading. Caregivers should not be anyone who is pregnant or anyone with chronic illness, diabetes, or a weak immune system, as they are susceptible to severe symptoms if infected by COVID-19. Everyone in the household should wear face masks whenever possible. Use of a face mask by everyone in the household, including the patient, and all others would prevent the spread of the virus. Wearing a face mask would also keep your mouth and nose hydrated and prevent mucous membranes from drying up. Do not take the used face mask by itself into another room. Leave it at the entrance of the room or place it in a plastic bag and throw it away immediately. Hold the mask by the ear loops and do not touch the surface when removing it. Wash your hands with soap right after taking off the mask. You can also use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer if you can't wash your hands with soap. If you do not have another face mask or cannot wear a mask, Cover your mouth and nose with a tissue when you cough or sneeze. Number four, the most important action is hand washing and gargling. Wash your hands and gargle regularly and often. When washing your hands, use soap if possible and wash thoroughly. It is recommended that you wash your hands for the amount of time it takes to sing happy birthday twice. You can use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer if soap and water is not available. Touching your eyes, nose, and mouth with contaminated hands may cause infection through mucous membranes or conjunctiva. Don't touch your face without washing your hands. Family members should often wash their hands with soap or use alcohol-based hand sanitizers. Number five, I would like to emphasize it is important to ventilate rooms during the day. Regularly ventilate the room where the patient is staying. Other rooms should be ventilated as well. You can also turn on air conditioning or an electric fan or open windows during the warm daylight hours. Number six, sanitize all surfaces everyone touches often, such as door handles, knobs, toilet, and bathroom. Viruses may be found on door handles, knobs, toilets, washrooms, and bathrooms. Sanitize all surfaces that people touch often so that the infection risk can be reduced. It is also important not to share towels, clothes, plates, and cutleries with other people or the patient. Be especially careful not to share towels with others. You can wash towels, clothes, dishes, chopsticks, and spoons as usual, but cannot share those things before cleaning. You may not need to separate doing laundry and washing dishes. There is no need to wash things used by the patient separately. You can wash clothes and dishes used by the patient together. Towels, clothes, plates, and cutleries should be washed normally. Viruses can live on surfaces for a while, so they need to be sanitized. To sanitize, Wipe down with sodium hypochlorite and then wipe again with water or alcohol. Diarrhea is one of the symptoms of the coronavirus. The virus can be present in feces. Use household detergent for cleaning and household sanitizer containing sodium hypochlorite for sanitation. Number seven, wash dirty linens and clothes. Wear gloves and a face mask when touching dirty clothes and linens. Wash dirty clothes and linens in a washing machine using ordinary household detergent. Dry wash clothes and linens completely. Number eight, dispose waste in sealed bags. Viruses are also present on tissue paper, which the patient used to blow his or her nose. 
The others in the household may get infected by touching it, so put it in a plastic bag immediately and seal it tightly when taking the bag out of the room. Thoroughly wash your hands with soap immediately after handling waste produced by the patient. It is important to wash your hands frequently with soap. Finally, we hope you have a better understanding of the actions to take when someone in your home is possibly infected by COVID-19. Please be mindful that those living with the patient may already be infected by the coronavirus. It is recommended to monitor any symptoms by taking your body temperature daily for 14 days from the day the patient's symptoms were relieved. It is crucial that you avoid crowded places and do not touch your face, especially when you are out. If you are coughing or sneezing, you should wear a face mask. Please wash your hands frequently and wash them well. Flattening the curve of the coronavirus spread requires a collective effort from everyone. Thank you all for your attention.